shoved and pushed aside. Residents of this apartment building put up a brave fight. Their homes are being turned into a quarantine center. Outraged by the move, the locals tried to stop these cops in hazmat suits. Unable to handle dissent, the cops did what they know best. They cracked down on the residents. The Wuhan virus has brought Shanghai to its knees. Three weeks into the lockdown, the city is still struggling to cope with the surging infections. The quarantine centers are running out of space. At this makeshift hospital in Shanghai, the patients sleep in camp beds. Yu Beibei was recently placed in a similar makeshift hospital. She wasn't even given proper medical treatment. There is no medicine or injection treatment in the shelter. So far, all we have is a self-healing treatment scheme. The doctors would come to take our temperature every morning and afternoon to see if it is normal. Then we will fill in their survey on mobile phones and write down whether we feel unwell together with our temperature, that's all. Bathrooms are not very clean, which is understandable because so many people use them and volunteers or cleaners can't keep up. So they are a little dirty. Also, we haven't found a place with a hot shower. Lights are on throughout whole nights and it's hard to fall asleep. These three things are what people have complained about the most. China's zero COVID-19 strategy has failed, but Beijing still continues to stick with it. The anger and frustration of the Shanghai residents is growing by the day. Locked inside their homes, they are running out of essentials like food and supplies are hard to come by. This week, some Chinese officials were out on an inspection. One local decided to let his anger out. From inside his home, he shouted at the officials. The opposition to zero COVID is growing. Some people in Shanghai have openly defied lockdown orders. They have been arrested and detained. In January, the local police registered just 59 cases and made 26 arrests. This was for violation of pandemic rules. The numbers shot up exponentially in March. More than 600 cases were recorded last month with 150 arrests. The public backlash poses a direct challenge to the Communist Party. Authorities in Shanghai are moving to crush public dissent. They have now vowed to strictly enforce lockdown rules. That could mean more arrests and punishment for those who dare to question the zero-COVID strategy.